Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Trump's speed dating. This is from Gilly and Keeves. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to speed dating. Each of you is gonna meet for about three minutes, then you're gonna hear this buzzer, okay? And when that goes off, we're gonna move to the next table. Ready to find some love? <laughs> no one said anything. Tana. What are you doing here? I was asked to speak at this hotel. It turns out there's some type of pussy banquet going on. Can you hold one second? Just give me a second. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking piece of shit, ugly, fat, orange, fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, a few days back, I did a reaction to a compilation of Shane Gillis's Trump impressions. And if you haven't watched it, exit out of this video and go watch it. Because when I tell y'all, I lost it. I cried tears of laughter so hard. Like I haven't cried like that and laughed at the same time in a very long time. Um, I was beside myself and it was... Now I know clips from this show. <laughs> I could not get it together. Um, I think arguably, maybe not arguably, Shane might have the best Donald Trump impression out there. He has the beats and the timing and the gestures and the mannerisms and the posture down down the physicality of it all like they almost have a very similar frame sorry Shane I you know I don't know who I should be saying sorry to actually I don't know if that's more offensive to Trump or Shane but <laughs> um yeah I, I I let's see she though clearly is not a fan <laughs> fuck you you fucking piece of shit ugly fat orange fuck social media they had to take it away. I was too good. <laughs> now, go ahead. Put it back up. Put it back up. People say, I've got bad makeup. Tana looks like someone painted her face like a clown. That's what we're going to call her. Tana, it the clown. She looks like him. She looks like she should be in a sewer bothering children. <laughs> the buzzer is hilarious. Disgusting. The buzzer is hilarious. Like, meh. Um. Here we go again. I just, it's too much. It's too much. Okay. All right. 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 You are utterly disgusting. I'm disgusting. I saw you walk in. I said, Who's this? She, is this a pig? I didn't know they were letting pigs in. You're a dictator. Old sage. What a loser. <laughs> What a loser she was. Somebody needs to tell her that her pussy stinks. When you walked in, I could practically smell you. Your vagina stinks. Smell you know up the whole room. No one hears. It's the P word, y'all. It takes me out. Every time he says it, it takes me out. Um, I do think this is true of Trump. Trump is not a high road type of person. He does not, in my opinion, you are more than welcome to disagree with me. I don't care. Uh, you know, he's not a, when they go low, we go high kind of person. When they go low, Trump is like, Oh, nice to see you here. <laughs> he loves a diss. He loves a comeback. He loves when someone maybe says something he doesn't like to hit below the belt in a personal way. Uh, and I think that's, that's just who he is. You know, I don't know, but this is hilarious. <laughs> like, I... I can practically smell you. Your vagina stinks. <laughs> smell you know up the whole room. No one here is going to go on a date with you. There'll be no <sighs> problem there. There's going to be so many dates. People, whoa, this guy has so many dates. You, none. I don't even need a date, but I'll get a date if I want a date. You can go on Tinder. Have you heard of this? There's a Tinder. You go beep boop pop and there's pussy. <laughs> that was it. That was that was the exact 
moment I lost it. You go beep boop pop and this. Get this man a freaking award. Get him an award. He's so good. He's so good at it. Oh man. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't. I just, there were like little clips in the compilation. So to see it all come together and now have full context, I'm beside myself. I'm beside myself. I'm beside myself. This is pretty exciting. I've never been on a date with a white guy before. Hit the buzzer. I mean, I'm just wondering what it would be like with something a little smaller. Let me stop you there, Lane. I don't know who sat in this chair before me, but it stinks. I told her! <laughs> Interest? You're gay. Hey, blame the dairy industry. I would never suck a guy's dick. But if I did, it'd be one of the best sucks he's ever had. A few years ago, women would have the flat butts, not you. Donald Trump is the best at everything, according to Donald Trump. And that is what we're highlighting here. He's like, I don't, but if I did, I would be. <laughs> and what can you do with someone that has that much audacity and confidence? You know, we could all use a fraction of it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Be one of the best sucks he's ever had. I cannot. Years ago, women would have the flat butts, not you. You've got a very nice one. Thank you. You know, I did. I polled very well with the blacks. How am I polling with you? <laughs> I saw you come in. I said, "That's the one." Her and name Bella tag Bell, is upside down. You're the prettiest. It's not anymore. They it's, why does it keep switching? Interesting. You're the ugliest. Do me a <gasps> favor. Could you take your gigantic perfect tits and leave? I don't recall saying I would get a date here, but if I did say that, maybe I will. Oh my God. <sighs> Hello. I cannot. Oh my God. Do you like my shirt? I gotta die. <laughs> ridiculous it's so good it's so spot on and funny y'all <laughs> I, I gotta get it together i really do i really do how are y'all not in hysterics how are you not falling over oh my stomach hurts my stomach hurts Oh my God. Do you like my shirt? I got to die to the special, the tackle shop. There's a two for one at the tackle. At the tackle. At the tackle. Shop, the at the tackle. The I can tackle. get you one. It's two for one. Wow. How are you, Mr. President? Well, I'm great, especially since. He's you, speechless. Since you exposed all the, all the Jews that were putting 5G in my brain that wanted the meth. How are you at oral sex? Pretty good, to be honest. My teeth come out. Siobhan, how would you like to go on a date with <laughs> Yes, finally. How would you like to go on a date with Donald Trump? Yes, <laughs> finally. Oh my God, I won. Did I win? I won. I got ahead. You know, if you can't poke fun at the former president, who can you poke fun at? And I feel like if he could uh, do impressions of every president, I would laugh this hard at every single one. That was so good. It was so good. It was so good. Wow. It was so good. <laughs> it was just good comedy, y'all. It was ridiculous. It was so stupid. <laughs> It's really just his impression. The impression is so spot on that then you add the like ridiculous components of what we're talking about here and it just sends me. It sends me to the moon. Um, but I do think they encapsulated Trump's like confidence in his willingness to back down to no one. They, they bottled that up real good. Uh, and again, we could all take a lesson if you ask me. You know, I wish I had a tenth of that man's confidence. I mean it truly, honestly. Um, all right, I gotta go like drink some water and like massage my cheeks because they hurt from laughing so hard. Uh, so do me a favor and go and have the day you deserve. Peace.